and welcome once again. My name is Mark, and today here, we're going to take this, which is just an ordinary uh, milk bottle, milk jug, I like to call it. A lot of people, a lot of kids always call it a carton. Well, not a carton, it's a milk jug. And it's made of plastic, what we call a polymer. Poly meaning many, mer meaning one. Many polymers, what we call cross-linked, that means like, like a chain. And tight links would be like a chain all smooshed together. Yeah, this is a pretty tight link right now. What I'm going to do is going to make it a looser link by adding a little bit of heat to it. Now, a lot of people ask, hey, what is that? Is that a hair dryer? Well, if I try to blow dry my hair with this, I'll be bald for a while because this is what we call a heat gun. All right. So this is, again, this is something that you would, do not want to try at home, folks, okay? It's a cool one to see here at the Rochester Museum and Science Center. So, again, what I'm going to do is put my safety goggles on. We always be safe. And I'm going to heat up one side of the plastic milk jug here. All right? Now, as I'm doing this, you're going to see a little bit of a change on this one side of the plastic milk jug. It'll make like a little window on it. And, again, what we want to do is make those, loosen those links up. So it's going to start to loosen the links up. So now, I have made a plastic bag. So it's basically a plastic bag. Now, we like to talk about this as the fact that what you want to do with your plastics when you're done with them is do the three R's. Recycle, reduce, and reuse. Because if this ends up in the garbage, ends up in the landfill, it's going to be there for a long, long, long time. You want to make sure you do those three things. And again, this is a representative of a polymer making a tight link into a loose link. So that's it for me for today, and I'll see you next time here. Woohoo!